Jason, uh, how did you and the rest of the quarterbacks react when you found out or saw that Luke was hurt? I mean, was it? I'm sure you guys were sorry for him, but how did you view the the next competition among yourselves? Um, we kind of just viewed the competition the same way. I mean, we're still with Luke in or with Luke out. We were still competing the same way that we were before, but now we're just down one guy, and we no. We, even though we're competing, we didn't want to see Luke get hurt at all. But it was just some freak thing that happened, and I can't wait until he's back so we can continue to be to compete again when he gets back healthy. Jason, how would you evaluate kind of the process of you coming in here and just being able to pick up the playbook and what do you feel like you can bring to the table and what do you think you need to be able to improve on? Um, coming here and picking up the playbook was was a lot more than what I was used to, but I'm picking it up pretty well. Um, it hasn't been too much to handle. So it's been fun in the process, learning everything. I've learned so much more here than I did at St. Francis in the four years I was there. So. Um, it's definitely fun learning a lot of different football things that just things that beat certain different types of coverages that I had no idea about. And um, I think I can bring a lot to this offense. I think I've, I have a lot of experience, so I have a lot of I have a lot of playing experience. So I think that's good when in live game action. But that's not a knock to any of the other guys because they're great. They're great as well. They're here for a reason. So. Jason, obviously you've been a starter before, but what has it been like working with the first team offense? And you know, how do you feel like you've taken to it? Just a new group of guys, different unit, that kind of thing. Um, can you repeat that question one more time for me? Yeah, I mean, obviously you've been a starting quarterback before, been QB one. Now running with the first team offense, uh, obviously it's a different group of guys, different personnel. But how do you feel like you've kind of taken to working with those guys and, and sort of developing that really that chemistry and whatever else kind of goes into it? Um, I think it's been pretty good. Um, I got some different receivers I'm throwing to now, so I'm getting used to their speed when they're breaking in and out of routes and things like that, just so the timing can be timing can be good and on point, so I don't have to force any balls in the windows or anything like that. And the O-line, I mean, the, that O-line, that starting O-line is tremendous. They communicate very well. So, I mean, it just comes with more reps, just being able to build the confidence with each and every person on the field so we can execute all 11 at the same time. Just overall, how, how has this month been for you or a couple weeks been for you uh, leading up to, what, Friday or Saturday and, of course, afterwards? Um, It's been hectic. I mean, there's a there's a lot of stuff that goes on here every day. Like, we're here, we're here for a long time, every single day. We're here for about 12 hours, I believe. And it's just nonstop football. But this isn't for everybody. I mean, you got to be able to – you got to love football to be able to do this, and I do. So, it, it's been hectic, but it's been fun. I love it just because I love the game of football and – I wouldn't trade it for anything. Jason, obviously, and this is hypothetical and we don't know what the future holds, but if, if you're starting September 4th, how comfortable do you anticipate being with that playbook and everything that goes into SEC football? Um, I feel pretty confident just because I know the work that I put in and I, I feel very confident back there. But, I mean, that's not my job right now. We're still competing, me, Colton, Connor, and now Zeb. Who was, who was now on the team? You guys might have saw him in practice today. Yeah. We're in 25, and he's a great quarterback as well. He's he's older. He's a veteran. So, I mean, we're still competing, and we have three weeks. We have 19 days, I believe, until the first game. 18, 19. <laughs> so, we're still competing for the next three weeks, and they're gonna put the best guy out there that's gonna help us win games, and we'll see where it goes from there. What was your weight last year and this year? I know you slammed down some. Uh, last year, so at the spring game, I was 245. Okay. And now I am. I weighed in this morning at 228. 228. And one more, forgive me, back to Zeb. I don't know. How, how familiar were you with him before they said he's a quarterback now? Um, He was actually helping us. He was? He was actually helping our coaching staff. So he's a, he's a great addition. And he, actually, he, he has another year of eligibility because of the COVID. Right. So he'll be a great addition to us. Just get an insight from him and him competing with us every day as well. How much of his history did you know before today? I mean, did you know that he had played at Iowa State and North Dakota State and yes, all that? Yes, I yeah. Did. Yes, sir. Yeah, you, you mentioned that you had dropped about 20 pounds o over the summer. How, how have you seen that benefit you on, on the field during practice? Tremendously. Um, in the spring, I wasn't running anything. But <laughs> just because I couldn't, I couldn't move as well as I wanted to. But now, if there's not a play there, I'm able to get out, escape, and extend the play like I could back when I played at St. Francis because I was a lighter weight then, too. So. Just being able to escape, make plays, or be able to run with my feet, and I've been able to do that really well with the, like during this camp. So I've definitely seen it pay off, and I could be more excited for it. 
Jason, in terms of that, I mean, obviously you guys have been competing now. Zeb's here as well. I guess just what does that do, and what's that like welcoming another guy into the room? Even though I mean, Zeb's been coaching you guys. I guess just what's that dynamic kind of been like and adjusting to in the last couple of days? Um, it's, I mean, he's just another football player, really. I mean, he's just he's going to be there and he's going to help us, and we're going to help him because he's he's still new to learning this as well because he he's been here for about a month, month and a half, I believe. So I mean, we're just going to all push each other each and every day, whether it's in the in the weight room, in the film room, out on the field as well. I mean, we're just going to help each other. That way, as a whole, we can be the best quarterback group that we can be. You mentioned being one of the most experienced guys as far as actually playing you know, college football. What's that dynamic like of competing against these younger guys while also having that experience? Do you try to be a leader for them as well, or just how, do those, how does that kind of work with you guys? Uh, yeah, I try to be as much as a leader as I can to them just because I've been playing college football for so long, so I've seen a lot of different things. But, I mean, I don't know everything. They're going to know things that I don't know as well. Like Luke, Luke's taught me some things. I've taught him some things. Same thing for Colton and Connor. I mean, they're all great football players and with great minds, so we're just learning everything that we can from Coach Satterfield and each other in order to, like I said before, be the best quarterback room that we can be. Jason, I don't know if you would necessarily know this answer, but you know what what is Zeb necessarily doing before he came in with you guys? Was he in the quarterback meeting rooms for most of uh, training camp? Uh, I'm not sure. No, he wasn't in those, but I don't know where he was doing that. But he was he was definitely helping the coaching staff in ways. And then just us. going off from that with the, with the playbook, have you noticed anything changing in terms of like you know shrinking it down? And you know, I don't say that to be disrespectful. Just just asking that. Very good. No, it's a it's the same thing. Just like Luke was in there. I mean. Those coaches, they have faith in us as well as they did Luke. So they're not, they're not going to scale back anything. They're going to throw the whole, they're going to throw the playbook at us like they were doing with Luke, and it's it's something that we're going to adjust to, of course. But it's not too bad. Hey Jason, you talked about learning the playbook and mastering the offense. But outside of that, if you were to be the Week One guy, what would you say is the biggest thing that you want to work on in these next two and a half weeks until the season starts? Just really perfecting everything. Um, there's not a lot of room for error. And there's plays that can be made, and I just want to be able to make the play when it when the play is there to be made. And I don't want to I don't want to have any mistakes, just because I don't want to be the reason that I don't want to be the reason that if I am the week one guy that we possibly lose a game just off of my mistakes. So I want to be the best that I can be at my craft because I know the other ten guys around me are going to bring their best. Just now that you've kind of been in the offense in the spring and now through camp, what are your impressions of it, and how do you feel like your skill set really lends itself to? One more time for me. Yeah, just what are your impressions of the offense through the first couple of weeks of camp, and how do you feel like your skill set kind of translates to what they're asking you to do? Um, like it's been said before, I mean, it's like a pro-style offense. We're going to push the ball down the field. We're going to run, and we're going to take advantage of a lot of different things with within the defense. And I think my skill set is very, very key here because when we're pushing the ball down the field, I mean, I have a strong arm, and I'm now able to expend, extend the play like I was before if, if it needs to be made. And I just gotta, I just have to get in there and, like I said, just perfect everything, whether it's mic points or anything like that, just so I can be the best quarterback that I can be if I am the week one guy. And I think Coach Beamer mentioned before there's a newcomer talent show um, this week. Have, are you participating in it? Do you have an act lined up yet? Yeah, I am. Uh, I think I'm gonna do my Bobby Boucher impression. If y'all haven't seen that, it might, it might, it might end up somewhere. If our media team gets it, it might end up somewhere. But yeah. <laughs>